everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with an office update. Please excuse my fringe, I trimmed it two days ago and this is what it's done. Oops. Um, first though, I wanted to show you the space outside the office. <laughs> and an Isaac having his lunch. Hi Isaac. Hi. And a Posey having her lunch in the living room. Go back and eat your lunch. So this is stuff that I've taken out of the office that I haven't decided where it's going yet. So let's go in to my office. So I'm filming this during lunchtime because I tried to film yesterday and it was too much. So we're going to start over here. Now if you remember before, I'm going to link, I'll leave a card up here to my last office tour or maybe the playlist because um, loads has changed. So. There used to be two carts here, one with old planners and this one. So this one's still here, this is my sewing cart, so it's actually relatively tidy, that's a toy that needs fixing, and my sewing machine, and next to it now is the lamp and tripods. And I still have this uh, magnetic board which is from Ikea, uh, that I've put this hook up and it has my planner bags and pouches are all in here. On the back of the door, I got this shoe organizer. I think it was from Amazon. If it is, it'll be in my Amazon store. And it has my least used equipment. So it has glue gun with glue sticks, a Xyron sticker maker and a hole punch, my fuse tool. Then it has some felt and some other random sewing things, elastics to make planner bands that I used to make, but I don't anymore and ribbons and then I have some empty ones ready for some more stuff okay then here we've got this filing basket which is exactly the same my filing boxes and drawers which I've actually cleaned and sorted all my filing now quite proud of myself I have this which is my diffuser from Scentsy which does different lights um it's like the cheaper model of the diffuser I really like it though and then in these drawers the top one has my kids health books you need those when you go to a health visitor I have two oils for using in my diffuser this drawer is Isaac's it has all his Pokemon cards in this drawer has some gift bags in and that's all and then the bottom one has sticker albums, which will tell you something else about what I've changed. Randomly stored. Then we're into, we'll do Greg's section. Nothing has changed here. It's still all Greg's stuff and the kid's chair. But this unit has changed. So um, compared to my last tour, I've changed this shelf. It now has my Funko Pops on when it used to have Lego and stuff. Then this, this whole shelf used to have our wedding cake topper and Isaac's cake topper and some storage boxes. Well, I've moved those and now I have these boxes, which these are old planners, um, like small planners. And then I have this. This is a, from Argos, it's a shoe rack. I was using it before the other side of the office, but I've turned it upside down. The top shelf has empty planners. Moterms, Aura Estelle's, Ring Planners. And these are all different size setup things. So there's Personal Wide Rings, B6, and then bigger. And that's just up there. And this basket here is Simply Gilded notebooks and pouches. This Aura Estelle box has old planners in as well. And then I've changed the shelves a little bit. So this one now has all my bigger A5 filofaxes and other random A5s. And then it has completed notebooks. So I've got Smashbook, got my Happy Planners, got my old Erin Condren's, got my old Cousins, all in there. This is all fabric that I've recently got um, that I'm going to use soon. And stamps and some random crafting stuff. These haven't really changed. They've got all the same things in. Decos, my cinch tool. There's cross stitches, wool, fabric, and that's all random memory stuff. And this shelf has a bit more jelly fabric 
and my Sizzix Big Shot. So that's that a bit better organized. So then, yeah, the Greg section, which is exactly the same. This bit is totally messy. These drawers are from Hobbycraft and they're really good because they fit 12 by 12 papers in. So I have my 12 by 12 papers sorted and I've got Halloween, Christmas, glitter, card, and then I've got acetate and vellum at the bottom. This side has all my jewelry making, charm making stuff. And then all this is my D-stash pile, which you need to go through and list on the Facebook D-stash group. Empty storage boxes that I haven't decided I wanna get rid of yet. In fact, I don't think I will get rid of. Um, this is my recycling bin. <laughs> Windowsill is a bit messy, I haven't sorted it yet. I've got some Funko Pops here because they were on a shelf over here, but I had to take the shelf down. So they're just in there, all my Umbrella Academy Funko Pops, until I get a little, I'm gonna get for over here, I'm gonna get one of those can holders that is like three tiers, so then I can put all the Funko Pops there. So then, this is what's changed the most, and I'm loving it. Okay, so, I have these two drawers which I had before. This is new, this is a metal storage drawer, and it has all my different papers in. And then this unit, this is two units from Ikea, they're called Bestas. I'll leave links down below to everything. And on the top is an Alex Ekby desktop thing. Originally I wanted that to go on there, but I forgot I ordered the smaller desk for there, so it's going up there. So, I'm gonna show you. These are all empty. These are what I use when I get orders. I put the, I print out the order, put it in here. And then this is where I collate all the stickers when I cut them for the orders. Spare storage. These are files for business related expenses like invoices for sticker paper and stuff. These are all pictures that need to be framed. In here, I've just got one board, which I'll show you below, some random empty stuff. And in here is my laminating sheets. Then I've got my portrait on that shelf. And blades and stuff. My cameo my mink machine, my laminator. These are the boards I was talking about that pull out and support the sticker sheet when you're about to cut it. Here is my mink folders and all my foil, my laser printer and an empty basket. I've got three empty baskets here because I haven't decided what I'm doing with those. And one of my printers. These drawers are the same as they were, so I've got vinyl, and then I've got spare paper, more spare paper, more spare paper. I buy it in bulk. And this is my opened paper drawers. So they're really deep, I can fit a lot more in them than I could before. This drawer section, these are all my punches and my inks. Then I have my stock. And oops, more stock, my foils, envelope making supplies, and then envelopes. And this is what I'm calling my packing desk. This is actually just came today from one of, one of you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I will be messaging you separately, but yeah, that just came today. So eek, I'm just gonna move it over. So here, I have an Ikea pegboard with tape, scissors, a little pot with literally one pen. And this has, I think it's just got blue tack in it just now, yeah. This is my label printer, which prints my postage labels. I did look at the, what was it, Dymo one, but it was really, really expensive. This was over half the cost of the Dymo one, and it works just fine, I like it. It's not quite as compact, but that's fine. This is all the plugs. Oy. Don't ask. Um, these are for my business cards and my samplers. I'm working on new samplers at the moment for if you shop with one of my PR people. 
they'll get a different sampler so it'll be divided like that these are from Amazon they'll be linked in my Amazon storefront this is a drawer unit from Ikea and I have my cellophane baggies in different sizes on there and then there's some envelopes here already labeled up this is a daylight light which I use at night because it gets really dark over this side my postage scales this is more filing these are my bags that I use to take my orders to the post office and that's where I keep my proof of postages these pin board things are gonna go up here I just haven't hung them yet they were over on this wall before and then I've got my paint brushes and stuff then I've got my main printer here and then this shelf is just messy at the moment I haven't decided what I'm doing with it <laughs> my notice board and the big change as well is these shelves and I moved my desk over so previously my desk came to like here I want to say but I moved it right over and I've got so much more room I was worried that it would end up taking up the whole room if I moved it over but it actually worked really well so I've got my shredder and my drawers and I'll show you through all of those but shelving wise up the top these are all the Villa Beautiful kits these are random postcards and stickers sticker albums kits those are sweet quiet designs kits those are all kits those are all pens and some books stickers honeybee shop stickers washi washi clips and clips washi washi all my simply gilded sticker books which have my stickers my mad hatter sticker book and my scribble pence co um overlays the foils these are simply gilded sticker books from the sub boxes and my weeks stickers down here which used to be a shelf full of albums now just has sticker book this is all my being bethany rose stickers these are all christmas stickers including this reusable book these are all halloween stickers these are all some little things these are spares like doubles these are foiled and these are my three reusable sticker books that I've got myself down to I'm gonna reorganize them as well these are my stickers from my shop and these are my current planner lineup so we've got my B6 Stology reference book my Hobonichi cousin memory journal my A5 wide budget book A5 wide business book but I might be changing that my A5 Wide Blossom memory keeping and then these are spares that I haven't, they don't use but this is a Simply Gilded A5 pad folio, this is Passion Planner and this is the next half cousin. Then I've got washi, washi, washi and washi and washi. <laughs> these baskets are doubles of washi. These are my washi books which actually I might put those up here so I can reference easier. This is washi I need to label, I still haven't done. And these are all my mini sticker books. So then we've got these white drawers. On top is all my cutting boards. These two boxes are letters that I've cut from you guys or from Happy Mail and things. I like to keep them. These are my Arteza paints that I just did a video on and my watercolour brush pens from Arteza. This basket here, the top one is things I need to record because they've just arrived. So I put them in there till Saturday. And this one is old stickers that I need to put in my reusable sticker book. Then my drawers are a bit more organised now, theoretically. They're not great though. <laughs> so in here I've got stamping boards and inks. More ink. So much ink and in the bottom is stamps lots and lots of stamps and then underneath that is 
puffy letters and what are they called? Oh, I know what they're called. Stencils, that's the word. And then this box has random stickers in. These drawers are my painting ones. So this top drawer is all my paint palettes. The next drawer down is all my little rainbow moon. And this is where I'm not sure about the organization because my creative kits are too tall. So they get stuck, but I need to rejig that. Bottom drawer is random paints and brushes and cloths. And this one is my acrylograph pens and my blackout journal from Karen. In these drawers, the top one is my fountain pen inks in there and a blotter and a UV torch because I bought UV ink. How cool is that? Um, and some fountain pens are in here. And then this drawer is all notebooks. And this one is all sticky notes. And underneath, this is pockets, like sticky pockets, and then things I want to put in my next setup. Like dividers and stuff. Then my pegboard has my dot pens, my random colours that I use the most. These are my new ones that from There Will Be Wood. These are all my random key rings, which I like to keep out because I put them on different things. So I've got all my little Tamagotchi styles from Sugar and Sloth and Lil, Lil from Some Little Things and there's a Coffee Monster Co random fluffy ones <laughs> and my headphones scissors here is all my washi cards and some sticky notes and washi cutters more headphones these are all my most used like actual pens so i have my fountain pens in here and a um scorer random stuff this is a random messy shelf that i haven't sorted yet tape and a cute little fake plant some pins and clips and more clips baby Yoda looking adorable that basket has stuff for inserts like acetate and vellum and then my little cutter <clears throat> then my desk which is a bit of a mess my apologies it's not too great <laughs> so we have a stack of sticky notes random junk um, hand cream and random junk, my Louis Vuitton pouch which I keep this camera in, <clears throat> my breakfast journal and my book of sticky notes, my undos tucked behind there and some more ink, my amazing Nightmare Before Christmas goblet that my best friends got me for my Christmas with some stuff in, some wax seals that I haven't sampled yet which is why they're there, Lego, cuteness, all my washi tape stands, which I'm really loving. I might need to rejig this though, because there's more coming. I think in this month, some little things, subscription. And then I have this, which is a laptop stand, so I can put this straight up and down, keep it out of the way. I've got my iPad. I've got a basket of things that subbies have sent me, or Happy Mail, random stuff that I want to take pictures of and write down. My paint pen, my paint pot, sorry, mug here um my pencil case which is from tesco's with all my most used pens in a little stack of crap <laughs> this baby yoda pouch which is from primark and it holds my hobonichi weeks and all the stuff i use in my hobonichi weeks my b6 cloud is right here with my purse this basket which has random paper and paperwork in it and this new pencil pouch I just got from WH Smith which I really love but I'm not sure what to use it for yet and then to the side are two rascogs this is the one that I've been talking about uh, so this basket has stickers that I've already hauled but I haven't put away and it's all the transparent ones I'll leave a link to the haul video but I haven't put them away because I don't know how to store them yet they may just stay in there 
and then it's pretty empty actually I've got one watercolor book and an empty file folder my sinking funds binder and stuff that I've done in a haul that I haven't put away yet and then my stickers that I have redone into the file system um, I'll leave a link to Rachel Beauty Plans down below she did a video on it and I used to have my stickers stored like this but I moved them all into binders but that also wasn't working so I'm trying this again which is why these are all like tabs rather than written on like this sticky tab that comes off so I can change it if I need to but I'm really liking it so far it makes a great noise so yeah that's my stickers so I can wheel that around next to me and then this one is what I would call my sticker journaling cart so I have all my happy planner stickers I have my Dalphonics pouch which has all my sugar, sugar and sloth pin badges and inside in Station Wonderland and inside it has stickers and stuff that are for the front of journals or inside my journaling then I have pens which I have regular marker pens, fine liners, I have the chameleon fine liners, all that stuff. Then I have my Tombows at the bottom. Then this has all of my wax seal stuff. So the seals and the wax. More pens, um, pouches and pencil cases with other pens in. So that one sits further ahead of my desk so that this one can sit this way around I'll just show you so it does sort of clog up the path a little bit but that's okay so this is my desk from this side I don't know if you'll remember but my random lights used to take up a lot of the floor which is why I didn't know about moving the desk forward but what I've done is this mount for my camera I bought two more and I have mounted my lights to my desk instead. And it meant we could move the desk forward and it didn't take up the whole floor. And it looks pretty good. I don't mind that it's sticking right out. It still has plenty of space to move. You can walk through and it's plenty of room. And it means that it's all here. I don't feel like it takes up too much space, but that's it, that's it so far. It is a bit of a mess because it's not finished and it's probably going to be a mess forever. I said this before, I don't think anything's ever truly done with faces like this. But it's much more practical and the whole... I'm going to try and move. This whole shop section feels so much more productive and it's laid out better and easier than I was doing before. Everything was sort of dotted all over the place before. So you have like shop section a desk section, stickers and planners and washi. It just feels better. I feel like I can get to things, <laughs> theoretically. But I will keep you posted if anything else changes or if it doesn't work or whatever. But yeah, I will try and leave links to everything I've mentioned down below. If I said it was from Amazon, then it will be in my Amazon storefront. There's just one link for that down below. Um, but I'll try and remember the names of things for Ikea. And link those but yeah if anybody has any questions please ask them down below or you can find me on instagram i'll put my instagram name just here um you can also find us in our facebook group now Woohoo! <laughs> um please answer all three joining questions if you request to join because it's to weed out bots it's not really that i need to know your answer specifically it's just to weed out bots um but yeah that's it so thank you for listening to me waffle and for watching and i hope you enjoyed it seeing all my mess and my weird fringe <laughs> and I will see you all later. Bye!